Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica O'Neill and I'm the owner of Domestic Bee. Today's video is on how I have reorganized my home office slash craft room. I do two types of crafts, um, sewing and uh, quilting and also paper crafts, but I will show you that in more detail later on. So we will um, get down there and I'll show you the before and I'll show you the after and I will explain everything as I'm going through. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you back here soon. I'm just standing in the doorway of my craft room and my office. So to the right is my office, which is very untidy at the moment, but I just got it. I've got a new filing cabinet, which hasn't been dealt with and a picture and it's, um, things have just been thrown everywhere. The cupboards are still quite tidy, but I am going to be relocating things into different areas just to make it a little bit more streamlined. It's starting to get a little bit dark now, so I'm sorry about the shadows. I'll try not to go too fast. And this is the craft, this is my craft side. I've just finished putting this cabinet here together with all the drawers there. Um, when I relocate it, then I'll put all the drawers in. It'll be too heavy otherwise. And I'll just sneak past. Now all that stuff down there that you can, you can see, this here, this is for my, um, oh, except for that cream picture there, um, it'll be decorations for my lounge room when I do eventually get to paint that, which will be hopefully soon. Um, oh, some Easter stuff which I haven't given away. The box there has got um, old clothes that I've um, wanted to give away to charity. But as you know, everything's still closed, so I'm going to relocate it to the garage until um, we can dispose of it and get, give it to the shop. So I think you've seen these shelves before, so they're still pretty tidy. But my aim is actually to clear everything off the bench here. I don't like having stuff lying around. Okay, so this is the before and we will switch over to the after. So starting at the doorway once again to the new and tidy um, office and craft room. So that's my cabinet that hasn't stayed the same. It's still got my quilts in there. However, I did get some new pieces of furniture. This here is the cabinet that you saw all apart in the other video. It's actually a chest of drawers for the bedroom. However, because it didn't have handles on it, you could use that for any furniture and I felt like it looks quite nice in the office. That actually holds all my craft, a lot of my craft things in there, but I will go into detail with that when I do the craft side of the room. And it's my little little water feature, little, little lily pads. Behind the door, I did have a lot of things hanging off there. Now I've only got my skein and cut um, papers that have to be hanging up. I can't lie them down. So it's nice and tidy behind there. Just to show you my cute little handbag doorstop. I got that from a lovely craft shop near Ballarat a few years ago. So I like, I like that one. Um, the, this cabinet here, that's not changed. That's still the same. I did get a new wall clock, which I really like. You can't really see it, but it's actually like a rose gold. And also a nice fluffy throw especially for the winter time, that'd be lovely to put over my knees. And I'll just stand back here. This is my desk. My desk originally came from Early Settler. So along here, there is another shelf that can be put on there, but I felt that it took a bit too much. I still have it, but it took too much space up, especially with my computer. And I do want to get a desktop, so I didn't have room for that. Uh, I've got my footrest which I think I got that from Kmart. This is my new office chair, which I absolutely love. I was able to um, design my own chair. So you can pick your colors, the kind of seat that you want, whether you want arms. And so I chose arms. You can actually take them off and they are adjustable if you don't want them. Um, the seat tilts, the back tilts, um, and obviously up and down. And that's an ergonomic chair that you can sit in for eight hours if you need to. However, I won't be, but you can if you want to. And going over here to my table, I've got my printer, um, my, my planner, and just a few bits and pieces here that I use. 
on my desk I've got this lamp and it's really handy because on the side of it it's got a USB port so I can plug my mobile if I need to and I've got this cute coffee cup memo pad which is from Kiki K. Here is this is just my little inspiration corner. I've got these cards also from Kiki K. Um, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So I pick a new one out each day which is actually in that box there. So whatever I feel is appropriate for the day. Um, this here I got from a dear friend from New York, the Red Apple. So when we can, I want to go back travelling again, my husband and I. Um, it's a Harrods one and we did get a, a flight gift voucher for Christmas. Obviously not able to use that yet, but it's all there, my little inspiration corner to where I want to go travelling. Um, my new picture, I love pink and I wanted to incorporate a little bit of pink in the room. However, I have been debating whether to paint the walls white. I do like the green, it is very calming and inspirational, however, I do feel that my pictures would probably look better against a white wall. So I will make a decision um, when the time comes, when, that, when I feel like it, I guess. Uh, there's a picture of my husband and I, our first Christmas together about 22 years ago. It's one of my favourite pictures. And my, it is a, it's a fake plant, but I do really like that. And I've got my new filing cabinet. This is also from Ikea, which I had to put together. Now, I have, I have got it turned this way as, I, oh, sorry about that. As I sit at my desk, I just need to swivel and open it up. You wouldn't believe it, but this cabinet was harder to put together than those chest of drawers. I tell you, I struggled with the back of it. Now that it's all put together, it's, um, it's fine, but it was a bit of a struggle. Now, with IKEA filing cabinets, you need to be careful because they do have their own um, hanging file system, which are a lot smaller than ours. We've got the A4, so you need to ask which filing cabinets fit the A4. And this one here, I only wanted a small cabinet, so instead of the files going horizontal as they normally would, they're vertical, which is fine by me. I just have to put my tabs on. It came with this metal rod in between just to strengthen the drawer and so that was actually a good divider for me so half of it I have for my for my own personal um, things like you know documents I need to keep and the other half for work and it's just just a lovely little size and in here is a okay my cash box um, just some notepads some cards and that's all I have in there now I'm sitting on my desk, at the, on my chair at the moment. I'm going to move away from that. And I'll the, slide the chair around. And this here, I got this insert from also from Ikea. It fitted perfectly in there. And it's made of felt, so it's nice and soft. Just got a light for the mobile phone. And just obviously bits and pieces in there. And this one here. My cute little notepad. I got that for Christmas time. We'll bring that out at Christmas time and a few other bits and pieces. So I've got plenty of drawer space. I'm going to move my chair back in. So that's my office really and that's all I need. I have plenty of storage space. It's a really comfortable space for me. I've even got my TV with a DVD player if I want to watch a movie while I'm working. I'm one of those people that don't mind background noise. I work actually better if I've got something on in the background. And so now we'll go to the craft section. Sorry, I might go too fast. So there we go. I've achieved almost clearing everything off that table. So I'm very happy about that. I still need that stuff in there, so I've got nowhere else to put it because my cupboards are quite full, as you will know. Um, for photos there, I may change the pictures up there because I want the white, so I might paint the picture frame white. And that was my old office chair. Now that's ready for me to either do my sewing, which I've got my sewing machine just there, and um, easy for me to do my paper crafts. Now I don't have to worry about putting, pulling everything out and changing it. I can just go there and start working. This is a, 
a very handy little caddy which goes around. It has everything that I need in there, including um, some drawers. And I'm going to open my wardrobe. And this is where I have hidden everything. So this here is from Spotlight. When you open it up, it has all individual um, containers in there. And that is where I put all my um, diamantes, um, all my craft little things I use to decorate cards with. So it's just all neatly in there. Just pop that down. And there is my ink, my ink station that also rotates around. I've got my tapes and glues in there, my big shot, um, just all my little bits and pieces in there that I may need. Um, my stamping blocks. And this here is a plate holder, which is great because it holds all my cutting plates quite nicely in there. And now I've got some paper. I'm not too sure what paper it is. I think my glitter paper there. And then on the shelves here, I've just put all my all my dies are in there. These are all my scrap papers. Obviously, my cardstock, some excess um, punches that I have, my glue sticks, all my uh, markers, um, some more coloured paper. Um, what's I got? That's a um, Bisti Stamparatus thing. And yeah, just I've just fed everything in there that I need. Ribbons. I've got those three boxes are full of ribbons. Lots of ribbons. And of course, all my punches, which you would have seen in a previous video. So it's quite full. I've got another sewing machine down there. That's a shop sewing machine that I do take away with me if I go to sewing class. Um, as my, my electronic one on my bench doesn't like being moved around in a car too much. So that's the inside of my cupboard. So I managed... To, I. In my other video, you would have seen in this corner, I had two carts. I've managed to empty those and I will take you to the dresser and I'll show you how I've sorted those out. The, this is amazing. This was only $199 and I fit so much in it. I am so impressed with, with the drawers. So there I've got um, more embellishments in here. I've got all my little... Dorbers and my re ink refills. So that's that. It that fits, that fits so much in there. Um, they've got some more spare things. I've got um, my heat tools in there. I think that's glitter. Oops. Down. My paper pad in there that should have gone in another place and um, these are just cards that I've already made up oh, thank you card uh, more ribbon more ribbons in there <laughs> more ribbon in there some glue I've got my cotton in this little container here I will put that back in its hidey hole later on uh, this one is where I've got all my fabric. I had the, the fabric, um, this is all for my um, baby patchworks where I do cock quilt sets. And I've got that all neatly in there. I did have it hanging behind the door. However, I was able to fit all of it in these drawers. I was so happy with it. Um, and this one here, I had um, a lot of glitter glitter paper which I make all my glitter bows out of so I've just got a stack of um, foam glitter in here sorry not glitter paper and just other odds and ends and the drawers slide out really really easy and again all my fabric there so um, it did take up so much space behind my doors and it's really lovely to have it all hidden again so I'll just give you one more quick view of the room So I'm really happy with it. I'm a kind of person that um, I don't like too much clutter. However, I do need what I have here and it's as tidy as I can possibly get it with the space that I've had. I've done so much decluttering and have donated so much of the things that I have. But what I have now, I, I do need to keep. 
um, you know, there's all different types of storage solutions. Like some people wouldn't like having things hidden like that. However, if you like to see things, you can use plastic containers so you can see through them. And um, there's no right or wrong. It's just what makes you function better in your workspace. And for me, uh, this is really functional. I don't feel um, distracted by too much around me. As long as everything has a home, that's all that you're really aiming for. If everything has a home, it automatically is tidy because you've put it away somewhere. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed my um, home office slash craft room tour. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you, however, need help with uh, organising your home office or craft space or any other part of your home, um, being in lockdown, I'm not able to come to your home. However, I do um, help people over Zoom, which is a really great way to do things. The only difference is I cannot come to your house. However, I will guide you and you have to do the work, but we will get that done for you. So if you do have any questions, contact me through via Facebook or below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hit subscribe and the little bell if you'd like to get my future videos. And until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.